just come in to have a look down at Woodhead Road. It is a live line up there, but apparently there's some old things and a nice vi uh, viaduct to look at. But not from the lines, obviously. It's a big one. A lot of rubbish. Just gonna see what's at the bottom and around it. If anything at all. But once again, you can see the remains of stone walling up on the hills. So, there may be something, there may be not. Looks to be an old toilet. I don't actually know why there'd be an old toilet there. This is the old path I'm looking for, just at the other side of the wall. There's the path. windy out today so I apologise for wind noise. See if this was actually access at one point. A lot of rubbish. outer edge of a building possibly and a lot of rubble with it you can see the stone architecture through the trees. Well, brambles, I would say. There's the corner. 
with the wall which would have come out and along. So this clearly was something at one point. There's the viaduct itself. But this is what's also interesting. I'm not sure what this could have actually been. Was it a part of rail network at one point? foundation stone eighteen forty eight I'm sure there you can hear the train going over top Massive arches. Jonathan Hawkshaw, Mill Blackie, eighteen forty eight. I'm actually struggling to read that because on a bit of an angle. Just up there hiding behind the old telephone post. That old bucket and old bottle. Oh, that's wedged in that one. Definitely toilets, you can see where the basin as well part of the basin left and where it went up to the header tank toilet one toilet two have been painted white at some time in the life this one's still got the Top joist and roof panelling. Some nice stone, big stone on that.
still got the section and the bricks in there. Was these at one day's for the train staff who worked on the viaduct? Let me know your thoughts on that one guys. Clearly it's a toilet, but for, for whom? See all the stone. Clearly, well, there was buildings under this at one point. Because they're all top stones. More people spray painting. Wrecking the joint. Let's see how far we can follow it down then. If at all. There's a trap pin. Drainage for the tracks above. There's where we came through and started off on the roadside, and that's the road just beyond the wall where we came in well some beans there that's how it's opened what makes me laugh with a knife or swiss army knife I do believe that's from the railway. That possibly could have been off a train, or an old one, an old diesel. Or off the back of a lorry or something like that. Someone was using Gillette the last time they were shaving in Hold Sink. In the second arch now. And again, more stone markers. Kinda looks like a cross on that one.
And there's the um, toilets. That's where we came in and I'm going to have a walk further down on the other side but as you can see that had wall in all the way along at one point and to the other side and toilets at the top so I'm just wondering what it was for because there's sandstone everywhere plenty enough to build something with or have been something with a special thank you guys for watching my channel and subscribing and liking old style drains possibly a really old plug and bottle with the stopper tops but if you look along the top that was part of the supporting wall which is all tumbled down All the way down there as well. That's a better view of it. Now we're getting down to the size, you see. That's a tree growing under the arch. Uh, we can't have a look on top because it is a live line. Tried that once before. <laughs> clay pot plant pots see the top level where we came in behind the toilets then there's the second level and then there's this one we're on now and we're still going Loads of stone, cast iron guttering pipe. that step as there's now under it but it would make a good step and then you've got all the walls so 
I'm wondering if anybody can answer what actually this is. garden milk bottle <laughs> And that's a nice chunk of iron. It's an impressive size. If you actually look in my earlier videos, I have the Melfam branch line, which is way at the other end of the viaduct but it's the abandoned one and I walk down towards the tunnel entrance etc so please feel free to route that one because you'll see the other side which is also not on a live line it's a good walk for the dogs as well Now we're down at the river. Get a better picture of how big the thing is
can't really access this side but this is where it's all kind of in progress of being done up and Meltham and it's the other end of the viaduct itself someone's broke that off not good just starting to chuck it down now That's Meltham Road, just at the other side, where the allotments would be on your left if you were driving to Meltham. Don't know if you can see that, but there's someone fishing float stuck in the tree. <laughs> This road at the top, which we came off, would have gone to Honley and Home Firth. That's an impressive viaduct, which is also still in use. Kids making a raft in the river. Pleasant change to spray painting. Uh, they're going to struggle with that though, because that won't float. Still nice to see though. Just can't get over how tall it is, to be honest with you. When you drive past in car, it's not too bad. But I'm stood in here now, you can hear it echoing in the arches. There's them foundations and toilets and we'll walk back up and head out of here as it just starts to spit in a rain I do believe but if you do know 
what all this was, please let us know. Now we're coming back up to the top and the end of my video. Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe and please like. Thank you very much.